I'm worried about the young kids at my school. This is a major safety issue on a daily basis. Opposition against a proposed self-storage facility. Amy Cherry has our top story. Teresa Cruz, director of Guardian Montessori Academy, doesn't want to see a new self-storage warehouse facility built near their school on the 3600 block of Racetrack Road. There's three such self-storage units in three miles, 10 within five miles, and 33 self-storage units in a 10-mile radius of this address. They are also requesting 84,560 more square feet. So they want to build a 115,000 square foot storage warehouse right across from our school. The trucks are even allowed to park in our parking lot, which is against school regulations. It's going to be noise all the time. We have kids that are supposed to be napping during the day for health reasons, and it's just going to be a mess with construction and these huge buildings that are going to block us from view. But the St. John's Planning and Zoning Agency approved plans at an October meeting in a vote five to one. I have a petition and I have over a hundred parents that live in this community and come here on a daily basis that are totally against this. They do not want this in their neighborhood and they definitely do not want this right across from the school that their children go to. St. Augustine's Morning News has reached out to developer Kimley Horn for comment. The St. John's County Commission will consider the developer's request at its meeting tomorrow at 9 a.m. at the County Administration Building. The meeting is open to the public. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Amy Cherry. This local news is a service of your hometown Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. In every respect, Ray was a soldier soldier. That exactly describes Ray Quinn's military service and his service after he retired from the military. Bill Dudley, chairman of the Veterans Council of St. John's County, remembers their vice chairman, Sergeant Major Ray Quinn. He spoke to Liz Ryan. St. John's County, and the world for that matter, has lost a true treasure. Sergeant Major Ray Quinn has gone on to his reward. Bill Dudley remembers what an impact he had on so many. He was retired from the uh, Army National Guard here in St. Augustine uh, after 30 years of service. Then after retiring, he was re-employed as a civilian employee. He is and was just a friend to every veteran in this community and, and around the state as well, having held chairmanship of so many different organizations that deals with veterans. I served with him in the Veterans Council, then after he had to step down when he became a county commissioner, I replaced him as the chairman, and then he came back into the Veterans Council as the vice chairman, and that's the capacity that the two of us served in for over 12 years. He was an honorable and selfless man who touched so many lives. He was just one of those people that saw a need and knew exactly how to help them and what to do. During the Veterans Day service at Anastasia Baptist Church, his friend was honored to pay tribute to him one last time. As a master of ceremonies, I did that from the podium and acknowledged him as the soldier servant that he was, and he got a roaring standing ovation from nearly a thousand people that were in attendance, and he was so humbled by it. Services will be announced at a later date. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Liz Ryan. And now you're up to date with St. Augustine's local morning news. I'm Rich Carroll. And now, Mike Lee Show with your local sports update. I think this is going to be a big year for St. Augustine. I think they're on a collision course with Mainland. That was August 5th on the Rich and Mike Sports Show on our sister station, WNZF. Friday night, only the Dunbar Tigers stood between the alma mater and a spot in the title game. Lachlan Hewlett struck first for St. Augustine, finding Miles Simmons for a 27-yard touchdown pass. Another pass to Simmons led to Bam Lyons' first score. SAHS led 14-6 at the break. Jacket coach Brian Brad. I guess when it mattered most, we were able to kind of blow up and find a way to stop him. Early in the third, Hewlett hit Trenton Jones on a screen for 81, setting up another Lions score. We're so gifted on offense that if we just keep playing, we'll make some big plays. Early in the fourth, Carl Jenkins took a Hewlett pass 66 to put the Jackets up 28-6. A Drake Lusk interception led to Lions' third score. St. Augustine is off to Tallahassee with a 35-14 win. Simmons after the game. It's just a blessing. We worked so hard since spring, putting in the grind. 
came out. Everybody expected us to do this, and we're doing it. Coach, I'm going to take you back to 1995. First time you stepped on that field over there. Could you have ever imagined being in a moment like this? <laughs> no. In 1995, I played on an 0-6 freshman team. So, no. I'm just proud of our kids. You know, we're one of the last two left in our class. And, and to get the job done is, is a job well done at this point. Mainland defeated Vanguard 34-12. The championship game will be played Thursday. We're trying to get that ring. In fact, we are going to get it. From the Beach 105.5 Sports Desk, I'm Mike Licio.